So in this tutorial, second to last one, what we're going to do is just reorganize things just a little bit. And so what I wanted to mention here is that it is so essential that you name everything. Everything has to be named. So this background is going to be called background. And then I've got this layer one. Let's see if I unlock all these layers and I turn that on. This is going to be my flowers. So, you know, I actually maybe want that to be a part of the background. So I might actually group that stuff together. And then this is going to be my new BG. Let's see. Then we've got the Twitter and the open happiness. So I know those two things are going to go together. So I'm, let's group that and call that Twitter. And then I've got this, which is, um, I don't know, polka dot. I may decide to use it or not. I've got my Coca-Cola logo, and that's not terrible. Then I've got my um, Coca-Cola for life there and these. Oh, here's what I wanted to mention about these. I knew there was still something I wanted to do. I'm going to actually want to organize these. So instead of it being four of them, I actually want it to be only one. I'm sorry, one for each. So the way that I might actually do this is I'm going to go in and zoom in real quick because what I'm going to do is create a quick mask around one of them. So there we go. And now, now I've got a mask that's just that single one. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that with Control J and I'm going to unlock the mask so that I can then take the mask on this one. I have to click on the mask layer and slide it over to reveal the next item. So I'd, now I want it just on that one. Let's make sure I have that in the right spot so it's not getting anything else. Now I'm going to duplicate that with Control J and do the exact same thing where I slide it over to the next one. Let me make sure that it's not interfering with that one. So looks like I have just a little bit there that I can go ahead. Whoops. I can fill and I just filled that with the alt backspace so it's filled with black. Remember white reveals, black conceals. And that last one I'm going to move over there. Oops. Let me make sure I'm just moving the mask by clicking on the mask first. And let's take that off. Okay, beautiful. So that's there, then that one, and then finally that one. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I really want those to be all the bottles but I really want them to be separated. Now, I'm getting pretty close here where I've got my design pretty much set up the way I like it, but I'd really like to play with it a little bit more. So one of the things that we should know about are what are called layer comps. And layer comps are a great design feature in Photoshop. Um, I just remembered I never did my styles from before, but uh, no, so what? Anyway, with my layer comps, what I'm going to do is go up to the layer comp and create what's called a new state. And this is going to be my um, comp one, let's call it. Now we have the ability to have our visibility, position, and appearance set on there. And appearance means, let's say that I wanted to check maybe uh, changing one of the colors of open happiness to a different color, like maybe this bright yellow. We could actually do that with an appearance rather than having to duplicate the layer. For example, if I come into this, have a Coke and a smile, oh, there, that's the one that I want. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer style on it, which has a gradient color overlay. And I'm going to choose that yellow, hopefully. I guess it's, there it is. So I can grab that yellow and apply it. Now, of course, I did not make this yellow um, a comp yet, or a, a style yet. So that is something to be aware of. Let me grab that yellow if I can. There we go. And now we can create a swatch for it so we can repeat it later on and use the exact same color. But this, anyway, this color overlay can be really important because you'll notice now I can say, well, I've just changed that color. Why don't I create a new comp? And let's see what happens. If I click on comp one, I get the that. Comp two gets the yellow. Now let's just decide that I want to move things around all over the place. So I'm going to move, uh, let's see, those, those two should always remain together. So I'm going to move them over here. And I'm going to move my, uh, my whole group of people, the people. I'm going to move those all the way over. I'm going to move them up to the top. 
that means I'm going to have to move my logo somewhere else. Let's see, there's the logo. That logo needs to come down here, maybe. And then the Twitter needs to be turned on, of course. So now I've really just changed things around a lot, right? Just very, very different now. So now what I'm going to do is save that as another comp. So this would be comp 3, I think we've got. And here's what we got. Comp 1, comp 2, and comp 3. So very cool to have the ability to create multiple comps. And you do have to remember, though, certain things that happen. For example, if I decided to create um, a new layer at this point, I would then have to possibly go and update the different ones. So let's say that I go to comp 2 and I don't really like the position of things. I really want to change the position of where the bottles are. So let me go to the bottles real quick. And Whoops. Oh, by the way, we need to turn this stuff back on so it will always travel with it. So if I want to move those to the center and I want to scale them up a little bit. Ooh, oh, I forgot. If you scale them up, they're not going to work. The scales will not work. That could be a real problem. I can't scale them unless I want to affect the other um, comps. That could be a real issue. Um, I take that back might be possible. Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update that layer. So if I update that layer comp, let's see what happens to layer 3. Yep, comp number 3 and comp number 1 have all those things scaled up. So maybe not the best choice for us to do. We may have to keep those to a smaller size so it doesn't affect them all. But we would definitely update that one Let's go to layer 1, comp 1. Oops, that needs to stay the same. So I'm going to update that, comp 2, and comp 3. And let's change that as well. And we'll update that. So a lot of different things that I've just done there, of course, but very nice to be have, able to have lots of different comps that I can use. Now in the last tutorial we're going to do the main reason that I was even doing these tutorials overall and that is to play with the new Adobe Generate which is a new amazing feature of Photoshop. So let's go on.